so I think I, I gotta do something here. Maybe make this uh, go to nine. That only goes to six. So make that six and uh, bring this one down even further. This volume maybe negative five and match that level about about negative three was too high I guess it seems alright very low for, for a second this, it's this video that's low, the second one. This is the second one. This is the first one. This one's loud. This one's real loud. So I guys had to bring up this one to max. This DB above. It seems to be matching. And the left and right is balanced. And this is the mix here that's being recorded here. Still doing that. And we're at 355 seconds and then zero about ten, you know, zero thousandths of a second. That's the thousandth of a second. See where the pointer is. This is the number of seconds, 355, which works out to five minutes and 55 seconds. Which is a nice round number. So these videos will um, go for that long. Um, and then this one turns off and this one turns on. Now, I've changed some things to show you how that will change. I can go with the uh, clip for that one. I know it's a certain way. And so on. Make it to the fold. Fold for the rotor set setting and panner second. The mode fold. This rotor fold. I'm changing them all from wrap to fold. And wrap to fold. We got inverse here for some invert. This intensity, then not so bad. This one, yeah. And then get the layers sometimes. This one's cold. It's changing, this is changing. Put that up as a triangle wave, and then set this up. This is triangle ramp up. That's a nice change. And that changes how the the, um, the actual frame moves and everything. It's it's moving it and spinning it, and uh, these uh, oscillators hooked into these modules. Effects modules, transform modules. And yeah, we're in fold. You, you get sort of a folded sort of effect here. Let's see. Yeah. With this image and this image getting mixed up there. Yep. Thanks for watching.